Hey guys, I'm back with something a little different today. So today I'm going to be showing you guys something that was sent to me for purpose of review by a seller on AliExpress. And it's the 4K game box. You might have seen it reviewed by people like Mad Little Pixel and um, I think it was Retrospect or Retro Breeze also did a video on it. But it's basically one of those small home consoles, emulation console similar to like a S905 chip arcade box or Super Console X. I'm not sure about the capabilities in regards to power. It could be stronger. I don't think it's stronger because it's a lot smaller, but it's really cute. Look at it. It looks like a little handheld. Looks like a little Game Boy. It has a little fan on the bottom. That's why I'm kind of sitting it on this elevated area right here on the mat. But we have the 2.4 gigahertz dongle connected to one of the controllers. And the reason I have it all unboxed is because I always, as usual, run into some kind of issue in the process of filming and there was no difference in this situation here. There were plenty of issues. My little um, HDMI adapter to the HDMI cable went flying out of my hands and is somewhere behind my entertainment center. So I'm using a different HDMI cord now. This is the one that they included. Nice, thick, strong looking HDMI cable, but I need a the HDMI uh, mini adapter for mine. So this cable right here is full, HD, full HDMI to, I mean full HDMI here to HDMI mini here. And what I'm doing here is I'm powering this entire portable, I mean this entire home console portably. So I'm just using um, an anchor power bank, a portable, portable monitor, and I'm powering everything with this anchor power bank. We have, we have um, AAA batteries inside this controller that came with it and it has a little 2.4 gigahertz dongle that's two of them here you could use your own wired controllers or wireless 2.4 gigahertz controllers if you want these have kind of you know not not the most amazing d-pad or any of that there's you know they're all four four different buttons but they actually are light on the touch and they feel decent when you press so like if you're playing games that don't require that precision or you need that central pivot it's not going to be fatiguing. It's going to feel fine. You know, your platformers, your puzzle games. I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult for maybe fighters and things like shoot 'em ups and beat 'em ups, things like that, where you're going to be moving around like this a little bit more. But it actually doesn't feel bad because it's so light on the touch. It's not like, it's not fatiguing. I'm not going to press these buttons right now because I think, well, let's see if I could press X. Okay, so just so you can see what they're like. Nice, punchy, snappy buttons. No complaints at all on the buttons. The buttons are nice. So I'm not sure exactly what C and Z are. I, I, is that something to do with Super Nintendo? I'm not sure. But we got start and select there and we got mode there. We got our shoulder buttons here. And it looks like this one scrolls through the systems and this one's not doing anything. They're, they're just your uh, standard rubber membrane. They're really quiet. It's kind of funny how they're identical almost. Actually, the one in the front looks a little thinner. But they're in line, and um, I mean they're stacked, but they're just like literally like lined up. So hey, this thing will do the job, I think, for for most things. And it just it comes with the console, a plug and play console that's ready to go. Oh, I spit on my screen. Um, and uh, it has like this was a 128 gig gigabyte model, and it has like all the retro games you can ask for. So. Don't expect Dreamcast and PlayStation, I mean PSP, to run flawlessly. Um, they'll probably run. There's going to be games that'll run. But this is going to be, this is a great way to just get yourself a ROM list if you need one. Because I already scrolled through this in my first take of trying to film this video. And the ROM lists look pretty clean. Not all the box art is there, but check this out. I mean, this is Dreamcast here. And there's not too much in Dreamcast because this thing... Actually, there's, there's more in it than you would see in a lot of systems that say they run Dreamcast. I'm not going to test every game here, and I'm going to turn the lights off when I do test a game. If I can get these buttons mapped right. I hope they're mapped right in some of the systems. But we're just going to test a couple things and see how things work. I'm not going to go into the heavier hitting games too much today um, because I just want to get a quick video out and show you guys how you can get yourself a little home console. You can use it portably if you want. You can take that SD card out of here, or it's on the other side right here, copy all the ROMs on it and put them into your, in one of your handheld consoles. So if you don't feel like doing a whole tiny best set go search or um, getting your own ROMs, this is a $25, $30 way to do it that comes with all, not this or that, but you know, you get this, 
you get the two controllers, you get the cables and all that. And we have a manual here. You know what, I should just give you guys a quick peek at the manual in case anybody's curious. For whatever reason, they're calling it the X10 on here, even though it's the uh, the the K8. So um, I believe these are the makers of that, that E6 portable that's gonna be coming out, that handheld that got delayed. So um, I'm hoping I can get my hands on one of those. I think it's gonna have the RK3326 chip in it, but it's a horizontal form factor and I'm curious about it. So let's just take a quick look at the manual. I'm not gonna read it, I'm just gonna hold it out, let you guys pause it if you want to. And it looks like, actually just these first three sections right here are in English. That's what we have, so um, yeah. So there's English and uh, Spanish. And we have um, German, or where do I start here? German, and then what is this? Is this Portuguese from my Brazilian friends? I hope I'm holding that in, in focus. Um, and then what do we have here, or is this Portuguese? I'm not sure. I'm not really reading. I'm just trying to hold it out for you guys. I hope I hope it's in there for you guys. Anyway, feel free to ask me any questions about the manual if you want to. Feel free to ask me about the, the games, if it includes certain games, if the games that are included run, because we're just going to kind of do a quick overview on here. I could already say it's a great way to gather yourself some ROMs. All right, which one of these did I put the batteries in? This one. So let me turn that off and back on. I want to see that little light going. And we're working. So... I'm gonna move this one off to the side. I'm gonna turn these lights off here because I think it's gonna make the screen look a little bit better. Um, I hope it doesn't completely kill the vibe. But um, let's see if things work. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into PlayStation. Let's find some Crash Team Racing. You know, I like my Crash. Look at this. Everything's in alphabetical order. Nice box art. Um, no annoying background music, at least uh, yet. Um, B, is there a way to go by tens? Yeah, I think, okay, so you press R1. Uh, wait, no, that went way, okay, L, um, um, R2 goes by tens. Okay, so, C, there we go, Crash Team Racing, let's give it a shot. All right, I'm gonna kind of move this guy over a little bit so my hands have room here. There's a little fan noise going on. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Yeah. Get this thing a little straighter. Come on. All right. Look at this. We already knew PlayStation was going to run perfectly on here, though, right? I'm pretty sure we did. It looks good, it looks like, I think it's scaled correctly, I'm not sure. If it's not scaled correctly, I'm gonna see about going into the RetroArch menu and seeing if that's an option. It might not be, they might have minimized the the controls or the possibility to uh, do everything you could do in RetroArch, cut, cut it down to the, the necessities. Let's just press start and, okay, adventure. Okay, let's just go arcade, single, one, and we're gonna go easy. Let's see if the, the thumbstick works. I mean, no, you know what, I, I'll actually test it, but this is this was a game that came out with the PlayStation at a D-pad. I'm always forgetting which version I was playing on Game Boy. I don't think that's, is that mapped correctly? I, I honestly don't even remember right now. Well, jump is mapped correctly, so. All right, boost is there. I thought I, I thought that, uh, whoa. I thought that um, cross button was accelerate, but honestly, I can't be sure right now. Okay, thumbstick works too, which actually kind of feels better. Um, yeah, it feels, I'm trying to figure out what was my item button? What, what did I press? Yeah, it's, um, the, the buttons are backwards right now. So I need to, I'm going to need to fix that. Uh, cross and circle seem to be backwards if I'm not mistaken. 
Oh, what? That was cheap. Come on. Why isn't it? I don't think I'm pressing the button hard enough or something. Yeah, I'm not the best at this game. Get out of there. Come on. Oh, you know what? To back up, you just press back. That's right. You don't, you don't, you don't, uh, accelerate. You just press down. Yeah, so that's what I'm noticing. My item button, I'm pressing, I'm pressing A, which is at the bottom. And I'm accelerating with B. And it should be the opposite. Like, I'm, I'm accelerating with circle and on my item, what? Yeah, something that's funky here. It's just me. I think these buttons need to be pressed down with a little bit more force, and I keep lifting up my thumb off the button. But um, it's kind of annoying using that as my item button. It's just a matter of remapping them. Sometimes remapping gets a little confusing, but it's just a matter of getting it until you understand it, then it's easy, you know? And that's the thing. Sometimes I go into these videos, and I'm not well versed on everything I'm learning just like everybody else and I forget exactly how to remap something and I draw out a video way longer than necessary and, and it probably leaves a bad taste in people's mouths and makes people discouraged from even wanting to bother with these things and that's not my intention because um, the reason I might sound stressed out in a certain video is because I'm filming but if you have the, the time to sit and um, and Tinker, you know, there's all the instructions online you need to, to get. And there's all kinds of help, you know, on Reddit and Discord. The community forums are just, they're great for anything you need. Any question you have, they'll have an answer for you. If, if you just go in there and you ask or you use the search engine um, for the basic questions that people should already know. Um, like right now, I should know how to remap this. I'm gonna go in there in a second and try that. Just to, I just want to switch the buttons to the way they they should be for PlayStation, but I'm not exactly sure how the layout of the menu is gonna be. So you know what? Let's do that right here. Start and select. Yeah. All right. Retro art. Here we are, and we have. I don't know if A is gonna be B or B is gonna be A. So before I do anything, I'm gonna to go to resume. I'm gonna press A to see if it. Takes me back into the game. All right, it did. Okay, so A is being treated as A, and then this should be treated as B, which means that I want to go. Let's see what options we have here. Oh, there's a lot of options in here, but oh, they got widescreen hack. So, you know, I think they might limit certain systems. I'm not sure, but uh, let's see what we have for controls here. Um, port one controls. Okay, retro pad. Up, down, left, right. Okay, so circle is mapped as circle. Oh, look at. Oh, it's mapped as cross. Triangle. Am I tripping? Maybe I'm just tripping on how the game is played, but it doesn't feel like I ever accelerated with. Maybe I did. Maybe I was always having it mapped wrong, wrong on my handhelds because I just started playing Crash on on my handhelds. But for for this game at least, and for for the way I'm comfortable playing it, I'd rather have accelerate be here and my item be here or even uh, more preferably like have my item be a shoulder button but that's your boost when you drift anyway let's uh let's get back out of here and let's let's quit retro arc so we see playstation let's check something else that seemed to look good psp what do we have how many games do we have? Let me go back out. 249 PSP games. And they're not all going to run, trust me. But I'm sure some will. So let's see what we have. Look, they're mostly minis, and that's to be expected. If you expect this to play everything that PSP plays for less than 30 bucks, you're you're tripping. Um, yeah, so almost all minis, which I'm not even familiar with. I've never played any of the minis, I don't think. Um in the form of a mini on a PSP or a PSP emulator. I've never used an actual PSP in my life. And I, I love PSP ever since I've been messing around with emulators. But let's just try, um, let's do a little Grand Theft. No, let's just do Tekken. Grand Theft's going to take too long. Grand Theft Auto. Okay, we got, we got our on-screen. So this is PPSSPP, what we see here. X, enter. 
that worked. So we have on-screen controls. You could probably remove those. Um, I'm wondering if select start gets you in. Yeah, okay. Whoop. Oh man, I pressed. I must have pressed it twice. Like it seems like it's on like a like a turbo or something. But I wanted to see if I can get into the settings there. So let's try that again real quick. If it happens again, I'm not gonna bother because that doesn't really bother me at the bottom of the screen like that. Oh yeah, that's just weird. Maybe if I press just select or something. Let's try that one more time. Because I'm pressing select and start. It could have helped if I would have read the manual, but I wanted to get this video out and try to see how it goes. Just winging it. Yep, it's just select. That was my problem. I was pressing select and start. Okay, so here we are with the basic. This is where you go when you first get into the PPSSPP menu. You're going to get your save states or your load states if you've already created um, a save state. So we have continue. We have game settings. Let's see what we have for the game settings. It looks like we have the entire menu here. That is impressive. It's got frame skipping on three, if you see that right there. That's how certain games are going to play on a much weaker system. They're, you know, they're doing what they have to do to make it work. And if 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 you can't, if that's unplayable for you, then um, that's understandable. But you know, everybody has their preference. So, but they do have it on two times. It's upscaled by by two x. When it could be 1x, but we don't want 1x on a side screen like this. So yeah, that would be really bad. So if it doesn't play on 2x, it's probably not something you would want to play on a home console. Um, let's go out of here to controls and see. Um, yeah, I don't even need to mess with this stuff right now. I'm just going to go out of here and we're going to continue. Oh, what I wanted to do was hide the overlay. That's what I was going to try to do. Sorry. Let's see if we can get that done. Um, game settings, uh, controls. Uh, wait, controls. Control mapping, on-screen touch. All right, there we go. Goodbye to the on-screen touch controls. Okay, continue. All right, I'm no Tekken player, so don't expect me to, to win or even do well. And if the screen looks washed out, it's probably because I have a light right here. I'm trying to manage these lights in some kind of way wow look at how this looks clean but this is just you know the intro hey guys just remember this is the the game box the 4k game box playing psp right now tekken 6 for like 30 bucks, comes with two controllers, HDMI cables, you could use your own controllers. All right, let's press start. Now let's watch me get my butt kicked. Let's just, uh, let's just fight. This thing has a, a good little buzz to it, a little hum, but hey, I'd rather there be a fan in there than this thing overheat. Lily, Lily it's gonna be Lily. Get ready for the next battle. Get ready for the first battle, Lily versus Elisa. Okay, there's a little stuttering. Let's hope that catches up. It is catching up. Oh man, she got the first kick in. Bitch slap. Ooh. Oh, look at that. What, what did I knock off her head? Oh, she's like a robot or something? She's got like, chainsaws for arms. That ain't fair. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting this one. Yeah, slap, slap, kick. Oh, a little backhand. Combo action. I think you could take your chainsaws from my face. One more, one more, one more. All right, second place. Hey, this is fun. 
It's not perfect, but it's good. Dude, anybody that's expecting more, you're in another world. No, no. Oh, don't, don't taunt her. All right. Tacking around you guys, so we're gonna get out of here. Trying to make this something not too long. All these damn hour long videos I'm making, nobody wants that. We got NBA 2K19 in here, but I'm not gonna play that right now. That's funny that that's showing up in here. What other games do we have? That's recent, I, I haven't played it, but uh, there there are, see, so you can you can go straight through the PPSS PP menu, which I actually like to do, like on my X18S, I, I use this over um, any kind of um, launchers or, or anything. I don't use RetroArp for PPSSPP. Um, all right, so let's get out of here. We got Doom Port, Nintendo DS. What do we have? So we don't have box art for Nintendo DS. Um, do we have like, okay, so there's there's Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, Legend of Zelda. There's not, there's not many DS games, but I was hoping they would have new Super Mario Brothers. So they have Ghostbusters, Hot Wheels, Front Mission, Lego Batman, Kung Fu Panda, Kirby Mass Attack, Kirby Canvas Curse, uh, Lego Star Wars again. What the? Lord of the Rings, Legend of Zelda. That's it. That's um, I'm not going to mess with this one right now because there's, there's, there's nothing on here that, that strikes my interest at the moment. So um, let's... Uh, Let's go into something like, let's try some Street Fighter. I, will, I hope it's mapped correctly. You know, I prefer, and I'll probably change it up later, go into the themes and see if, see what I can do, but I don't really like this grid. I'd rather have a list with kind of like box art on the side. It's just much easier to scroll through that way. Um, uh, what did I do here? Oh, I, so R and L go to the next system. That's what it does. And then R2 and L2 move by tens through the system you're in. Okay, S T U. There's a lot of games in here. Okay, so, oh, and there's box art with audio, video. Street Fighter 2 Turbo, let's do that. All right, let's see how it plays. Let's see if we can make some Hadoukens happen with this funky D-pad. I think I'll be able to pull it off, but we'll see. There, there's been a few others that I've struggled with. All right, we don't have proper scaling. Can I fix that? Let's see. All right, start and select brings us into the... I don't think we're going to be able to... Um, reform, okay, resume. A is resume, so back. Okay, nope. User interface. Appearance, menus, okay, I was going to... This is strange. Normally there should just be like display. Um, all right, so that's one of the that's one of the shortcomings. Unless I'm tripping, there uh, doesn't look like you can um, scale scale your videos correctly. So you're gonna have a little bit of a, unless you have a four by three monitor. Oh, you know what? Actually, I got something pretty cool here. That's one thing about this monitor that is great. When you have things like this happen. You can do that. So this monitor is old, otherwise I'd recommend it. But maybe I could find a link if anybody's interested. Oh, that doesn't look right, but it probably will in game. So let's see. Yeah, look at that. We got we got the. <laughs> that's the way it should be. That's pretty cool. Let me map my buttons. So I'm playing on a portable system. This could be put in a backpack, taken with you anywhere. Okay, that's what I want. I want. Wow, that's being called A. This button is being called A. It's, it's being read as A. You see that? I press this button, it's A. Okay, medium, I'm going to put this. It's treated as R, which it should be. That's kind of strange that that's A. That's just really, really weird. Um, okay. That, that, X. Okay. I'm going to try to remember this because it's probably going to be useful for me to remember later. Um, L, low, light kick or low kick, we want that to be here, which says A, what's it going to be? B, okay, and then we want medium kick here, which is L, okay, and then B is being treated as Y, that's pretty interesting, okay, A, R, X, B, L, Y, I'm going to remember that later as to why and what, what the reasoning behind that is, but that, hopefully it works now.
not the sharpest. Looks like there's bilinear filtering too. I wonder if I could fix that. No, you know what? I'm not gonna bother with that right now. There's a little blur to it. Yeah, there's bilinear filtering going. You know how I fight him. Oh man, it didn't work. See, it doesn't always work. If you're not paying attention. All right, the fireballs are coming out. Oh, one did. One fireball count. Damn, that's they're not they're not coming out very easy. We can try this and see if it's matte too, but I never play with Street Fighter with the analog stick. All right, so I think if I'm playing second player, yeah, that's what it is, because I could I could feel it on my thumb. I could get the I could get that down with no problem, which means that I'd be able to get a fireball down if I was playing second player. But for some reason, my my thumbs don't don't work as well that way for this type of D-pad. Let's try some Hadoukens, some Shoryukens, I mean. It's pretty cool that this monitor allows for that when when you have systems like there's a lot of systems out there that won't allow you to um, properly scale they'll limit the 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 options you have or not give you any options at all so it's it's if you ever get a portable monitor or any monitor that should be a feature you consider looking into to see if it has aspect ratio adjustment So I think this is acclimation too, because you can see, I can get it, it's just about, you gotta be really quick with it because there's no pivot. Oh, I tried to do a show you can there. It's real, real hard to get it because my thumb is hitting one of the other buttons. If there was a pivot, that wouldn't happen. I might be able to put like a adhesive piece of rubber in the cent center right there. Sorry, buddy. Um, like put a tiny little p adhesive piece of rubber right there just to solidify the center and it might kind of act as a pivot. But yo, I'm not gonna continue using these controllers. I have better controllers. These are just the ones that come with it to make it so you can play it right then and there, which I think is, I think is cool because this thing, I think it's worth the money. Especially for those that just don't wanna do the work. There is a lot of work in the, to curating a ROM list. And this is a good ROM list. That didn't work. <laughs> Damn, you and your long legs. No! Oh. Damn, you got me on that one. Alright. See if I can just get through Dawson, and then we'll check something else. Not sure really what to check. You know, I guess we'll check the, check some Dreamcast or something. And then after that, if you guys have any questions or you're concerned about whether or not a certain game you're interested in runs, just ask me in the comments and I'll test it. Can't make these videos too long, testing these games. Let me get a show you can. That was a good one. That didn't work. All right, Street Fighter Two. So I'm able to look at, you could see how my monitor smashed the RetroArch menu in order to make it work. So for that reason, I'm going to, um, actually, I'm just going to leave it. I hope you don't mind because I'm going to go into another um, 4x3 system. Um, oh, I didn't mean to restart. Um, I want to go back and exit. So yeah, now everything is smashed. Um but hey, it doesn't look bad. Actually, it looks looks cool. No, he's smashed. Yeah, he's looking at his stretch. But let's try something in Dreamcast and just see how, how it runs. Maybe some um, Sonic Adventure, I guess. Sonic Adventure 2. Let's see if it'll run. I've never really played this game like through. I've played like the first bit of the levels. That don't look right. All right, hold on. This one seems to have been scaled properly. So we're gonna go in here, go here, down, down, here, down. All right. Yeah. Good, at least they got this one right. <laughs> mm. 
Looks like it's gonna run, you guys. A little mini Dreamcast right here. Put yourself one of those Retro Fighters controllers. Turn that volume down a little bit. Whoa. I feel like it's a little bit loud. So cheesy. Come on. Get on with it. Alright. I hope I don't get like... Oh, you know what? Man, I'm gonna get... I'm not I'm not monetized anyway, but this this game has like copyright music. I think. Oh yeah, that's running smooth. I gotta keep talking, right? Is that what you do when they play when they're playing copyrighted music in in, in a game? Ah la 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 la. But hey, this is running great. I tried to turn like I was playing F Zero right there. I hit the R button. There's a little bit of stuttering going on there. Yeah, you can see I don't know. I can't play this game well, but I think it's playable. It's a little stuttery. Give me that. Ah, uh, how do you? Man, terrible snowboarder. I tore my ACL snowboarding. I had two knee surgeries. That was fun. Let me, let me get that guy, if I have any rings left. Yo, Dreamcast is running, you guys. My Sonic is running, too. Nice chow, huh? Slice. I think a better con well, you know, the analog is working. I'm not. It's not bad. It's just that I'm not used to it. Oh man, I didn't get my way up the half pipe. Oh well. Oh, I think I can get launched back up, right? Yeehaw! All right. Let's see if I could do this. Blind jump. Yeah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. I would have died. All right, you guys. Sonic Adventure. Uh, again, I did it. I pressed Start and Select, and that wasn't good. Oh man. All right. Something about that, but I think I should have just pressed Select right there because there's no Select button on a, a Dreamcast controller, so that would have took me into the menu. So Dreamcast. This is what we have here, you guys. Um, what was that racing game? Red Lion Racer. It's a motorcycle game. We got Rayman 2 on here. Marvel vs. Capcom. NBA Showtime. Mortal Kombat Gold. Outrigger. Jet Set Radio. Man. Ikaru Let's play a little Ikaruga just for a sec. I played that last time. I had a little fun with it. I'm not good at it, but... Okay, real quick. Let's see if I press select. There's our there's our settings. So we got load state. That's that's cool, man. Look at this. You got load states, sa load states, save states, even slots, so you can have more than one. Um, this thing is not bad. I'm impressed. I'm not just saying that because it was given to me for purpose of review because it's not the greatest thing on earth. But for thirty bucks, it's a free ROM list. That's a little funky. But that's oh, it's in. Oh, I think the whole game is in Japanese, but I'm impressed. I wish I would have opened this sooner. Just been so busy. Let's go easy because you know I'm not I'm not very good at shoot 'em ups, shmups. Let's just start. Oh, it's not letting us. There's a little a little stuttering. Just compiling shaders. Okay, analog isn't working so. You might need to probably, I don't know if you can map that or not, but, okay, how do I switch? Okay, there it is. Yeah, it runs nice, and it looks good. 
And I could probably, I don't know, as a stuttering between the transition, go tape mode on this. I could rotate this 90 degrees. I don't know if it'll work on this, but. Forgetting, yeah, you, you cannot touch the machines. Ah, all right, so see how ha not having a pivot on the D pad makes it really hard to control uh, shoot 'em ups. Like, you'll want to go at a diagonal angle and you'll go straight. So, that's that's my um, my two cents when it comes to uh. To, to shoot them ups and beat them ups, these kind of D-pads won't work for it. An analog stick would work fine. It just needs to be mapped, and I don't know if that's an option here. Maybe it is in settings. Let's see. Um, controls. Okay. Twin USB joystick. A map. Uh, I'm not going to mess with it because it's going to take me too long right now. I'm going to try to learn how to work this later. But um, let's see if I can get back at it. Oh, I did something. I press something. I pressed A for that default mouse. I don't know what it was, but <laughs> I'll have to look back in the video and see what I changed it to and re change it back. How do I get out of here? Um, done. Okay, so look, we got general controls, video, audio. Okay, so video. Um, okay, I'm not familiar with this emulator, but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna get out of here for now. Got cheats exit and yeah like i was saying i i sucked at that game and i did even worse than than uh i guess this goes on a, on its own because of these kind of d-pads with no pivot i've that's always the way it is with with those type of games so i'm gonna back out of here game gear genesis we know all this is gonna run great um let's see if naomi has dolphin blue and how it runs if it does was it naomi or was it um uh what was the other one? Um, Amiga? Not Amiga. Was it Amiga? Yeah. No, Amiga is the old stuff. I'm tripping. Um, what am I thinking of? Let me go back in there for one sec. So I think it was this the this is the one that had dolphin blue but um i don't think we'll test anything in there right now i don't even know if we need really need to test anything else i'm just gonna go into the arcade and oh that's old school arcade let's go to final burn alpha let's see what we have in here still old school but um we don't need to see more street fighter knights of the rounds kind of fun beat them up but again this isn't going to be great with beat em ups until i get the hook up the proper controller some slam masters or something you know it's all good we don't need to play a whole bunch of games you guys are seeing what's on here here's x-men but that's the fighting game i like x-men the the actual beat em up um Nintendo 64, I am, I'm guessing things aren't going to be mapped correctly for this one. It's going to be confusing. Um, Mario 64, let's just see if Mario, oh, that's Dr. Mario 64. Uh, let's see if Mario 64 works on here, if it's going to take some kind of, because I know that I have a little bit, of, I get a little confused with, with um, N64 and RetroArch. Because I usually just use the standalone move pen or whatever, however you pronounce it. Um, so, uh, super, 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 LQRS, Super Smash, Super Mario. So let's just check that. I hope this is B and this is A, and and then this is Z, and this is. R and then, or this is R and L and this is Z, but I have a feeling things aren't going to be right, and the stick might not even be mapped. It could be, it should be. So wait, 
Now we didn't. I don't have. All right, thumbsticks working. That's a good sign. Start works. Let's just try to get through this quick. Can we? I baked a cake for you. Peach has aged pretty well from here to the movie. <laughs> Polygons to perfection to like crazy, crazy high definition. Can I not press start? Is it forcing me to watch this? I don't know. It's been so long since I've played these games, like intentionally played them to play them. Ha-ha! Let's see if we can jump. Triple jump. Okay, so... Chow, you've reached Princess Toastle's castle via a warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. She has baked me a cake. Press A to jump and B to attack. And that should be B and that should be A. Okay, so it looks like... That's A. And that's... Attack. Okay, where's jump? Uh oh we don't... Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, I'm tripping. Sorry. I'm not the best at it. There it is. Looks to me like it's running. All right, so this is B and A, which is perfectly fine. I'd rather be here, it's more comfortable for my hands than over here, but hey, I just have to learn how to remap things. So this is gonna be our C stick, or our C buttons. Let's see if they work. Yeah, they do. Okay, so they got things hooked up on here. They put some thought into it. I would say this is a system that is, um, more thought out than others and a lot less money it's it's just it's just strange how some some systems just put zero effort into their their system where everything is mapped incorrectly or you don't even have the option to fix things um this is running perfect so we got an n64 right here i don't know if it'll run everything you know but I don't know if I should actually play anything right now. Um, can we get a new ID key for that? Yo, this is running smooth. Super smooth. Oh yeah, get my power back. All right, as you can see, it's been a long time for me. I don't even remember like the, the proper controls to, or where to go or what to do. But, um, you can see just by the jumping and everything that this game is gonna run perfectly if you have any interest in it. Or if you know, like say, if it'll run Mario 64, it'll run this or that. I could, that's kind of like a way to tell what this system is capable of. I'm not the most knowledgeable on that, that stuff. But anyway, all right, so let's see what happens if we press select or okay, start and select. It takes us into the retro arc menu. I'm not gonna mess with the options or the controls right now. I'm just gonna, um, oh, okay, A is, that's right. It's, I saved state, I didn't mean to do that, but oh well, no big deal. Okay, so I wanna I wanna back out. This treats that as a it's it's all confusing when you gotta get used to menus having different buttons than the game itself. But things get familiar after a while. Each system, you know, once you play it for a while. Okay, that just had a little lag going. That's the thing. I have so many different ones that I've been testing, and each one not each one is different, but some of them are different than others, and I have some short-term memory loss on occasion. Let's see if Game Boy Advance is scaled. I mean, Game Boy is scaled correctly. 
Let's just do a little Tetris. This is the perfect D-pad for Tetris. So let's see if it's on here. It better be. It's not. Wow. Or is it? Oh yeah, the dir. I don't know my like ABCs. Come on, don't be full widescreen. <laughs> All right, let's see if I and I can't. That's not something that you can fix in this system. If you see uh, user interface, there's, it's really. Oh, I wonder if I can show if I can choose to show uh, video. There we go. Show video videos. I don't know if that's it, but. It's, oh no, it should be display, not videos. No. Um, if I'm missing something, you guys, those of you out there who know more than I do, um, let me know. Show on screen display. Uh, no, it's not on screen display. I, want, I just want to control the display to, to get to the aspect ratio settings. Um, Kiosk mode, these are the kind of things you could do once you get things hooked up perfectly so you don't mess it up or have, you know, your kid mess it up. Um, but yeah, I can't seem to figure out right now how to how to map or I mean to adjust the display. I don't even know if there is an option. So in that case, I can I could stand playing Game Boy with a uh, with a four by three aspect ratio is not perfect, but let's just do that. Makes it a little bit better. And we and it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to put our filters on or anything like that either. So um, it is what it is. Okay, so I'll get this off. Oh, what did I do? I turned it off for a second. Go away. All right, so we're back out of here. Quick menu, resume. Oh, what did I do? I I'm I lost it. There we go. Okay, so see, a little better. It's not it's not nine to ten like it should be, but let's just play one. Little. See, I like these kind of D pads actually for Tetris. They're actually even better, in my opinion. Oh, wait. I'm trying to make sure. Yeah, wait. No, the buttons are. Oh, wait, I was pressing the wrong one. Okay, it's these buttons, right? Yeah, that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just one Tetris, you guys. I'm out of here. Oh, what am I gonna do here? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. Try to do something about this real quick. Um, it's not spinning the way I'm used to. That I'll have to hit that button. Give me my long one. Told you I get a Tetris. Not that it's hard on level one or level zero. Pretty cool though. I'm pretty happy with this little thing. This thing is something you could throw in a bag. I mean, it's tiny. All right, I promised I was out of here after one Tetris. I'll keep my word. Um, whoops. How do I um, back out? So back. Okay, back. It is B. A. Okay. All right. You guys, we got the 4K Ultra HD game box. Tiny little system here running portably on a portable monitor. We don't have any plugs plugged into any walls or anything. We got batteries in this. We got the 2.4 gigahertz dongle right there. We got all these systems. 
And if you want to know if something is on this 128 gigabyte card, or if you want to know if something is on here and it actually plays, feel free to ask me in the comments, you guys. Sorry if this video was a little long. I kind of stumbled through a lot of it, but I hope you guys got something out of it. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.